Web Hosting Control Panel cPanel Video Tutorials. AW Stats. In this particular video tutorial, we're going to run through AW Stats, which is a statistical program hosted on your account. It's for checking your web logs and trying to make sense of where people are coming from and why they're coming to your site. So you can simply click this icon here, AW Stats, will take you through to a screen which lists out the domains that you have. If you've got multiple domains, you'll see more entries right here. Essentially, you just click View and it will bring up a new window. So here's a particular window as an example that it would bring up. And I'll just move this onto the screen here. Essentially, what you're looking at here is a bunch of numbers, but you need to be able to interpret those numbers. And the best way to do that is to just simply run through what these numbers mean. So up the top, you have a reporting period that you can choose. And for example, I've used November 2010. You can see here that there's quite a drop off between November to December, and that's because I moved accounts and AW Stats wasn't working on my new uh, hosting account. But for intensive purposes, let's have a look at November, which is this month here. And I can explain everything to you using this as a guide. The idea here, of course, is that you see a bit of a, a curve up, which is wonderful. That means that I'm doing my job properly, or in the case of you, you're doing your job properly and promoting your site. So for the effective month of November 2010, we can look at some numbers. Now, we have unique visitors. Unique visitors is the amount of individuals that come to your page. The number of visits is the amount of visitors that have come to your page. So as you can see, I've got 2394 visitors, which is unique individuals. But of those particular individuals, a majority of those visited more than one time. And so that, that is a good sign right away there. So these are, the, these are the statistics. These are the summary statistics that you should be looking for. So we've got unique visitors, which gives you a guide of how many new prospects or visitors are coming to your site. The number of visits is how many times that they return. So as you can see here, it says 3.11 visits per visitor. And that's not too bad. So onto the pages. Pages is simply a guide of how many particular individual pages on your website have been downloaded. And hits are every single time somebody comes to your page, an image, a piece of text, a piece of audio, a bit of video, every little piece of information on your site is a, it contains something that needs to be downloaded. So every single time that event gets downloaded, it might be an image, it might be the text on the page. If you've got 10 images per page and the text on the page, you've got 11 hits per page. So it's just a guide. Everybody says, oh, I get so many hits. Oh yeah, so what? Hits are just, hits are not relevant. I'm, I'm adamant that hits are not something you should be talking about. You need to be talking about how many visitors you get and how many number of visits that you get and how many pages that they visit while they're on the site. That's, that's the, that is the important element here. Um, not how many hits you get, how many hits you get is not important. The bandwidth is of course, how much bandwidth you're actually consuming. So these are all numbers that you need to know to be able to track your business. So as you can see here, we have a monthly history. We have a nice chart. We're able to see numbers growing and it really doesn't matter which column you look at. Um, as long as you focus on the first two columns, unique visitors and number of visits, the rest will fall into place. So what it shows you now is what are the months, what are the days within the months that, that you get a lot of traffic and you might see spikes and ebbs and flows. So you can start gauging your advertising dollars or um, the amount of effort that you put into your site around particular days and events within the month. So this is all in very important information that you need for your business website. Then it's broken down into the days. So how many particular visitors gives you the daily stats within the month. Then of course, what days of the week people visit your site the most. So in my case, it looks like here, I've got the stats that tell me Saturday is the biggest day of the week for me. And I should be concentrating any emails or any sort of blasts or special events or anything around a Saturday. And these are the sort of information, this is the sort of information you pull out of your stats. Then it, bro then it gets broken down into the hours of the day. 
So it's quite a lot of information in here. Then what are the countries? What are the top countries that are visiting this particular domain? And you can see here just by the amount of pages that are being consumed by the different countries. So you can start uh, deciding whether or not you might need to do a Spanish version or a German version or some other version. Um, in the case here, I've got quite a lot from Brazil. So I, I, you know, I could easily justify perhaps producing pages on the site that are in a different language. These are the, this is the sort of information that you just don't get with normal uh, bricks and mortar business that you get with your website. Then we start getting down into the uh, hosts, which is who's coming to your site the most. And I know for certain that uh, this is one of my particular IP addresses, so I can sort of see how many times I've been to the website. But there's a lot of other uh, websites as well, and some of these would be Google and Yahoo um, coming to the site. Not too important. The um, we've got if you've got authenticated users, you can see information there. And here is the robots and spiders. So how many times different uh, robots come to your site, different search engines that send out robots and spiders to frequent your site. Once again, this is nice to know, but not overly important. Visitors duration. This is an interesting statistic. Uh, between 0 and 30 seconds on your site, 86% and it drops off dramatically after that. So if people aren't interested, they hit the page and they bounce off. If people are interested, they'll stick around for longer. Then there's a breakdown of file types, and here's particular pages within the site, and you can start to gather, oh, FAQs is, in, FAQs is um, a popular page, the help's a popular page, affiliates is a popular page, and you can start breaking down, say, okay, well, here's the pages that I'm going to spend time on making sure that they're right, because the majority of my visitors are visiting these pages. Then here's a breakdown of the operating systems that come to your site. This is an interesting statistic in and of itself. The browsers that come to your site, this is interesting, showing here that um, Firefox um, is a more used browser than Internet Explorer. Things are changing, and it's good to keep an eye on, on what's going on. Um, coming down, now we get to the point where we're saying, okay, who's finding us and where are they finding us from so here we have links from external pages that are that are pointing to us and being able to direct traffic to us so it's good to keep an eye on who's sending traffic and where's it coming from and that's what this particular page is for and you can view the full list by clicking this button here you've got google and this is the amount of uh, traffic that's coming in from search engines. And you can see what this would be for your site. Down here, we've got the search phrases, what people are searching for and how many times they found our page. This is interesting because you'll find keywords in here. And there's the full list link there, which I'd recommend that you do because this is just the top 10. You'll find keywords in there that people have found your site with that you wouldn't even dream of typing in yourself. But you might find that you've got yourself 30, 40, 50 search results, uh, people coming from the search results, and you think, wow, I didn't realize that. And then you can start working that those keywords into your site, um, into the copy of your site, so that you actually rank even higher for those particular words. So it's good to keep track of your key phrases and your keywords and start feeding them back and close that loop in your uh, website so that you see new keywords coming in. You go and have a look and you see where they're sitting on Google. And then you go, okay, I can put those words through my copy and get a higher ranking and start actually optimizing for those words. So then we've got uh, some miscellaneous information here. And we've also got information about HTTP status codes. Now this is important because here I can have a look at 404 errors, which is the document not found. Now what this means is if I go in here and I click this link, this will show me a list of all the pages on my site that are not there or broken. So in the case of some of these pages here, they don't exist. So I must have something wrong in my website that it's trying to find these pages and these pages don't exist. 
So I've got to go or your developer has got to go in and try and work out what is broken because broken pages, Google, Yahoo, Bing, they don't like broken websites. They don't like websites that don't, that are pointing to things that aren't there. So if you've got issues with your, um, with your website where things are being pointed to within your website that don't exist, they will show up in this list and then you can fix them from there. So I've got a few in there and I have chosen to ignore them at this point in time. It's not worth my uh, hassle to do it. But if I had a specific broken page, see, I can see these are just supporting files. These are just JavaScript supporting files and some other particular files here that just support it and would not affect the running of the website or the search engines from finding different pages. But you may have a legitimate broken link in your website that sends people to a page that doesn't exist. And if that's the case, you need to know about it so that you can fix it. And that's what this particular area is for. Down the left hand side here, we have a bar that allows us to jump to particular uh, objects within this large list here in AW Stats. But for all intensive purposes, this is what you need to know to be able to drive your website. And you should be looking at your AW stats or any other stats package on a monthly basis so that you're able to keep track of what is going on with your website. So that ends this particular tutorial and I want you to be sure to check out all our other cPanel tutorials to learn how to use the great features of your web hosting account. And I want you to build your online business.